Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Doc C. PhD Company, semi-retired scientist and inventor. My main interest now is that in the discipline of theology. How did we get here? Why are we here? What best to do? Now, uh, I'm being forced to backtrack sometimes 40 plus or minus years ago. Uh, as far as uh, issues in the discipline of science, which I have to say uh, is considerable amount of plagiarism, definitely nationalist power politics and ethnic hyping and so forth. Now, this is the truth. Poincare from 1900-1904, he put forward and titled it Relativity, especially at the World Science Congress in 1904 in St. Louis, Missouri. Professor Umberto Bartosi, B-A-R-T-O-C-C-I, in his book, Albert Einstein and Olinta de Petro, The True History of the World Famous Equation, E equals MC squared, proves Olinto de Petro, published in 1903 in the science magazine Ate, and then in 1904 at the Royal Science Institute of Veneto, E equals MC squared. He said it was the transition of matter into energy. He emphasized with a small amount of matter, it obtained an enormous amount of energy per E equals MC squared and showed the calculation. Now, Einstein covered up plagiarizing Poincare. Also, Philip Leonard, who 1902 put forward the photoelectric effect. You put a monochromatic light, violet light, on a zinc plate, and it's the energy of the uh, of the actual wavelength. The small the as the wavelength decreases your frequency increases, your energy uh, increase of the wavelength, and it ejects the photoelectron. electron. That was Philip Leonard in 1902. Now, Poincare was world famous. He put forward a lot of books at the, at, uh, at the World's Fair, at the World Science Congress in St. Louis. Einstein worked in the patent office Anything that was known was being discussed, obviously, was discussed and he knew about. He was fluent not only in German, but in Italian. He lived with an uncle who was scholarly in northern Italy. His uncle spoke Italian fluently. Einstein lived with him, went to school there, spoke Italian fluently. In the area of Veneto, where lived Olinto di Preto. Olinto de Preto had a brother. His brother worked for a Mr. Beso. Mr. Beso is the father of Michael Beso. Who is Michael Beso? Michael Beso is sort of senior, and Einstein said his best friend, who Einstein worked with at the Swiss Patent Office. Do you understand or related and how close? Michael Beso, Olinto de Petro's brother, and Einstein had a I had a, a group that they would get together academically and s discuss what's new and interesting. As he would visit his uncle. He spoke and could read the Italian magazine and, and papers of the Petro. Absolutely. Professor Umberto Bartosi, in his book, proves that Olinto de Petro put forward E equals MC squared before Einstein. What yours truly has done, who conferred with Einstein, yes, that's, I'm that old. I conferred with Einstein, and it was a secret one-on-one -on -one showdown conference in which, believe it or not, to, to, you put this on a voice stress analyzer, and he polygraphed lie detector test. He agreed with yours truly about, I put it politely, modernizing the Lorentz-Einstein transformation equation, where 
my capital X prime equals capital X minus VT over the square root of 1 minus V squared over capital C. Capital C equal to or greater than little c to velocity of light. And he said, are you sure? And I said, I'm sure, I'm sure. Theoretically, you know, in your day they broke the sound barrier. In my day, I'm sure I'm theoretically at least they've broken the light barrier. He says, like when? And I says, well, I think they don't announce it, but I think CERN in Switzerland, they are doing work with accelerating particles that are an increment greater than the velocity of light. And, you know, theoretically, once you break the light barrier, then the his Lorentz-Einstein transformation equation, he would interrupt me then and say, uh, no, it's really Lorentz's. And I forget, and I say, well, you know, that would... Uh, sort of modernized the, the, the you, you know the, the Lorentz uh, Einstein trans he learned from he says no that's now he would say that's only Lorentz's transformation equation do you understand he covered up about De Petro and how could he get away with it is because because De Petro was shot before Einstein really became that world famous he was shot and so he wasn't there to say we well, just a minute. I should get credit, and yours truly should get credit for his work, but I have been forced an, to be anonymous because of Jagger Hoover. Jagger Hoover, who I uh, survived, was a liar, immoral, uh, grand, it's grand theft when it's uh, valuable, like what I have done. I have over 600 videos in the last 10 years. Every time I challenge a, a, a famous American, what, uh, what they, there's one there, I think, uh, I forget his name now, that they, they had the movie of where he was such a defender, but the public should know. I sent him telegrams, challenge him, I'll pay for it. I'll go to your city on your desk, take a polygraph lie detector test. He wouldn't dare answer, because as soon as you answer, then you make the mistake that now you answered why didn't you take his challenge and so forth? But if you don't answer, then you can always say he never saw it. Now, Einstein says he never read Olinto de Petro's book or Porcare's book, but he says book. Well, yours truly, he asked me if I could speak Deutsch, German. I only know a couple of words. He never mentioned, he knows I'm Italian descent. He never mentioned, well, you want to speak Italian? He covered up de Petro. And nobody ever any, said anything. De Petro was dead. So it grew so world famous that then he went with it. So who really is Einstein? He's the world's greatest plagiarist. I defended him even when I knew that he was plagiarizing other things because I said E equals MC squared is number one in the world. And that's his original work. To my surprise, in an Italian American club, on the cultural board, they had this. Olinto de Petro was before Einstein in 1903, and I began researching it. I've been doing it for six months. And this is what I found out, that all of these facts I've said are true. And there are a thousand now. It isn't just I and a professor Umberto. There's a thousand now on the internet I, I'm seeing. And that not only was Michael Beso, his close friend. Mr. Beso was Olinto de Preto's uncle. Do you understand? And that only emphasizes that of, they say, well, Einstein can get away with it because he never mentioned any references. So it's his word against anybody who says that he plagiarized. He, I found out he made one mistake. He mentioned one reference. You guessed it, Michael Beso. To all the believers, I say thank you.